and we're rolling. Hi, I'm Ron. Big bunch of love towards all y'all because today we're going to be talking about recovering from a bad trip. And I'm not talking about your shoelaces aren't tied and oops, I done fall down. I'm talking about your mind got a got, little got untied and you're feeling a little wobbly and you need a little help. Now, here's the deal. They're, you're going to be all right. My first suggestion is stop doing drugs. Just saying, not hating, like, could be worse. But we're not about being avoiding the worst. We're talking here to get more better. <laughs> more better. It's going to be more better. Okay, first off, your brain does like to repair itself. So what it is, is get some sleep. Get some food in you. Go connect with good people. Uh, what is it? People, places, and things. The right people, right places, right things. Find yourself around positive things. The Bible, because that's what I is. This is a Christian perspective on fixing the fix of, it is the spiritual fix a flat for your brain. Um, I can go into my story in a second, but get around the right people that are positive. You know, you don't need a harder trip and breakthrough and all that. You need healing. You need time to repair. You, you can do it. So get around the right people, people that are that are loving, funny, kind, beneficial to you. Right places, again, happy, sunny, bright. Think on good things. That's what I was going to go up before. The Bible says think on good things. Uh, it doesn't, doesn't necessarily have to be the Bible, but if they're good things, you look far enough, there's going to be some Bible in it, or Jesus, or love, because God is love. He likes to give good things. So you're going to be seeking, oh, by the way, there is a God. He happens to be Jesus. He's got a first name. His last name isn't Christ, though. Okay, that just means power. Jesus, Jesus. And uh, that's the universe. When the universe was calling out to you, his name's Jesus. He's like, hi. Oh, by the way, the whole cross thing isn't about like how bad we are. It's about how much we are loved and cherished and valued. That's why he did the cross, so we don't have to. And then there's, but wait, there's more. The value you have, all of us, is determined by how much someone is willing to pay. The Son of God was willing to pay his son, not so much is because we are bad, it is because we actually have original value and we are being restored to original value through his sacrifice in faith by his name that he restores all things and he makes all things new, including my brain, which I had fried 20 years ago where I couldn't remember my best friend's sister's name without trying. That was the problem. And I thought I was up a crick without a paddle, but God is the speedboat upon which we can travel. And he can do for you what he did for me. And he can set you free in your mind, heart, and all reality. And reality is this. God made all things. God is in all things. So if you had some profound encounter with the universe, all right, cool. You might have tapped into something. But the way Jesus describes it in the book of Revelations is that you can go into the wedding feast, that is to be in his presence, but if you don't through it, do it through the agency, the name of Jesus, let's say you use ayahuasca or shrooms or LSD, you can kind of jump into the jump the wall. But once you get to the party, they're going to be like, where's your invitation? And what happens is that if you got beat up and you got fried, you, do, you basically you got kicked. I don't want to say kicked out, but. There are two entities in this universe. It's Jesus and Satan. And Satan will give you a ride, but it'll be into the hood and you get thumped real bad and then you get ditched. Jesus, what it is, is you don't need a drug. You don't need an intermediary of any kind. And it is by faith in his name that he can get you into these other realms. And it's clean. And it's just, and it's actually more powerful and it's pure. But well, if you didn't know, you do it. You now, you now know. And that's okay. You can ask him for help. 
And you can simply say, Jesus, restore my mind, restore my heart, remove this anxiety. Life is an existential, you just live and then you die and that's it. There's nothing or it's just by yourself. Just the opposite. You are with someone who loves you so much. That is why there is the cross. God so loved the world, that's us, that he gave his only begotten son because it was the joy set before him. What's that joy? Us. That was what was set before him. That he endured the cross despising the shame. That shame was like, oh, you ain't the son of God and you're a fool and you're Satan. No, that was the shame. And he's like, for the joy that was set before him, that's us. That's you. So, Put that in your brain. Chew on that for a while. It's good for you. It's in the Bible. Everything I'm saying, you're going to find it in there. Put on some good music. Put on some good music. Get around some good people, places, and things. Because the Bible says, think on good things. That's from Paul. He used to be a hitman for the Lord, or at least he thought it was the Lord. He was an uptight dude. And then when Jesus came into his life and he was sober, he got, bam, he got changed in a heartbeat happened to me in the middle of the dirt field and God took me to other realms that I had gone into through the drugs actually they were higher realms they were clean and pure and holy and they're here now and I can get into them without having to dose or do anything without any ceremony without any repercussion and that's where his love lives and I am allowed to be there and it comes into me it is a reconnection between us and the divine all the time, and it's free. So I hope that helps. This is going to be my LSD restoration seminar kit. You know, it's the repair kit, not seminar. Just the stuff I've done that has, that has occurred in my life that's helped me. You're going to be all right. Just kind of chill, breathe, get some sleep, eat some good food. Got questions, hit me up. You got some answers? We'll talk. Let me know. I'm into it. So guys, with that, have yourself a sunny day on the inside. Catch you next time. Peace.